So what's up everybody? It's me, it's me, True Star Screamer, and we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man action figure. I have not bought a Figure Arts figure in years. I actually have an extensive collection of Kamen Rider figures, and then I started carrying a few of the Marvels, and then, to be honest, I stopped getting excited about it. I was able to start getting articulation like I wanted to him from lower costing figures. And at some point the quality just wasn't quite there. And then this guy came out. I read the first Chainsaw Man manga, Chainsaw Man manga all the way through. I have yet to watch the series, but I enjoyed the comic. This is a very cool. Movie. And yeah. Then the Figma was announced, and it's a Figma, and I'm not too happy with Figma prices, to be honest. And then this guy was announced. Um, and this is absolutely freaking amazing. I think the last figure arts figure I purchased was a Street Fighter figure, specifically Sagat. And uh, yeah, I haven't bought one since. Just to give an idea. But then this, I started seeing all these pictures, and I had to have it. It's a good comic, I do recommend, recommend reading it. Can't say anything about the anime yet, but uh, let's talk about the figure and see if it lives up to this absolute insanity. So yeah, um, this is the figure arts I love and missed. This is probably I haven't been this excited of handling a figure arts figure since figure arts Vega, to be honest. Which is an absolutely amazing figure. As is this. Uh, this, this is a very innovative. This has some. Re, this really pushes what an action figure can do. Oh, we'll talk about that. Put that back in here. To be honest, this is almost right up there with Revel Tech when it comes to articulation and how well it does. Oh my god, an articulated chainsaw. I mean, Revel Tech and, and Chainsaw Man would be insane. Uh, I know D Amazing's got his hands on these, as have a few other of the, I can't say, of the bigger reviewers, but wow. Uh, this really pushed the uh, figure arts guys, I think, to the limit. Now, if you've seen the, there's a Figma version of this, which offers both the human version and this. You can kind of swap out the parts. I passed on that. Uh, one of the biggest things is, honestly, the blood. That figure is very clean. This is not. This is a... Uh, how do I put it? It's a kinetic figure. The last, I think, uh, Revel Tech Venom reminded me of that. Of The figure itself, itself just looks like it always belongs to be in motion. Like this should not be in static poses at all. This should always be in some kind of dynamic pose. And I haven't even talked about the alternate parts yet. Which, they're not that many, but the ones they have are absolutely perfect. Uh, articulation is amazing. Yeah, we, we've got a very deep butterfly cut. I mean, this can go almost all the way across. Which is great. Double yes. It's a single jointed elbow, but again, it's past 90 degrees. So I'm happy with that, especially with how the chainsaw blade, this lovely, gorgeous, bloody chainsaw blade is. And the head's covered. This is the type of figure you want to put in a swarm of zombies, by far. Uh, knees are double jointed, and the hips. Uh, these are joints that are Spider Man worthy, to be honest. Decent app. Yeah, okay, the app crunch could be a little deeper, but that's just me being picky. And he does have a toe joint. But check out these shoes, by the way. These are great. I mean, the, the laces are sculpted in. These are some fantastic sneakers that are totally not Air Jordans. Yeah, I love it. So, yeah, just, just straight out of the box. I mean, look at this. I cannot wait to photograph it. That's probably my one complaint, this bottom part drops out. 
But uh, since he's already fallen out, let's talk about some of the accessories he comes with. So the accessories are few. Um, but honestly, I don't mind. I think, I mean, it's a figure arts figure. So I always could want more. I think things, if I was going to ask for anything, would of course obviously be a display stand for him to come with and maybe some blood effects. But as far as the, everything else we have, this is absolutely perfect. You've got an additional face, uh, bottom jaw with the tongue coming out to make him look all insane. And you also have this tie in motion, which I absolutely prefer. I cannot wait. This is probably what, probably swapping out the tie and the jaw with both of these for my regular display. What is innovative are the hands. So he already has like a gesturing hand by default. He has, whoops, take two. He has fists and he has open gesturing palms. But these are, th this is what's talking about them pushing the engineering differently because the way they work, you actually separate the palm, you separate the hand and there's a peg and there's a peg hole. And when you come to the figure itself, that's exactly what you do. You pull the hand off the blade. And you push, pull the other hand out. And you see we got the hole here. And this is really, this is innovative. I was kind of wondering how they were going to do this with the hands going through. And it pegs unto itself. Now this is probably not the easiest to do, you know, obviously in front of a camera, but you just slide that through the port there. Come on. I may have to do this off camera if I can't get this close enough, but you'll sandwich them the t between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and we're going to pull this guy. I'm going to change out, well, you saw how easy the jaw is, so that just comes off there. That just slides right inside. This very much reminds me of some of the faces from Rebel Tech, which it's good and bad because I've had to pop right out. And the tie just unplugs. And this just plugs right in. Here's a quick size comparison. So, now being a figure art, he is smaller than your average six inch scale, absolutely perfect action figure. Or, uh, this, or even some of the imports, like the Nada toys here. And here he is next to Jada Toys Evil Ryu, because I totally wanted to flex that I have a Jada Toys Evil Ryu. And I totally need to mention that I have a review for him right up here. Because honestly, that review could be doing a little better in views. But I digress. He is a small guy. But the thing is, he is a Japanese teenage boy. So he might still be growing. He might not have had his growth spurt. I don't care. It kind of works. I can fudge it in pretty much. If you like ridiculous figures, if you're a fan of the manga, a fan of the anime, I recommend this figure. He's absolutely batshit crazy. I mean, I still don't know who caused the whole shit meter, by the way. You know, that chicken shit down here, and apparently batshit's right up there. The figure. But, um... I, I have very few criticisms about it. The, Probably the number one criticism I have is the fact that his lower face does fall off way too easily, as it has fallen off a couple of times during this review. Uh, the other one is these shoulders. You know, to get them in some of the poses, you you twist it around and then you think you get the sh shoulders. If you handle the figure, you'll know what I mean. They can be sometimes hard to reset back into a normal stance. Uh, but after that, the accessories, I, I mean, okay, I would have loved blood effects. More, more blood effects. I would have loved blood splatter. Uh, this guy was $64 in Big Bad Toy Story, so you may even be able to find him for less on other sites. Considering the Figma goes for, you know, $90 plus dollars and then some, I mean, it's, I think it's $114 in Big Bad Toy Store, found a better buy. Uh, he stands great. I can get him. I, oh, I haven't really done the... I can get him in a one-leg stance pretty decently, I think. Eh. Doing that right? Yeah. Right here, in front of you. No editing. So... It's just a good time. Uh, I cannot wait to take some photos of this at the end of the, after this review for you guys. It's gonna be fun. 
the photos itself just might delay this review another day just because I'll spend a whole evening just shooting. But if you are in the mood of trying something different, yeah, go drop them in your cart. Plain and simple. But let me know what you think. Do you have him? Did you buy the Figma? Did you have no idea that this thing existed? Uh, if you do have them, have you been enjoying them? Etc. Tell me down in the comments. I like, love to say, I read them. I enjoy them. It's always fun getting some interaction from you guys. I got more funky stuff on the way, as always. So if this is new for you, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And until next time, please take care. Peace.